In this video, I wanted to share with you an application that I started to use in the last two weeks, maybe two or three. But anyways, it is a web design program. I am having a lot of fun with it and I find great value in it because it is replacing a lot of the plugins in my um, WordPress arsenal in terms of creating landing pages and um, thank you pages and all the little, you know, list building pages that you need to be a successful internet marketer. I've also along the way realized how powerful this application is because it can do a lot of fun graphics that are great for your social content or website graphics content. Today in this video, I'm just going to show you quickly how this application can crop a pic and create a meme that you can use pretty much anywhere you want. So why don't we get started and I will show you the application. You see it right now up on the screen already and I am going to just start a new page. Okay, here we go. So first off, I'm going to show you how to crop a picture in this application and why that is a big deal is because um, part of this whole meme and content sharing of the internet requires a lot of graphics or pictures that are shared and reshared. So, and one of the sources I found that was great for graphics is, um, or inspirational quotes is Instagram. But when I do a screenshot, I end up with something that looks like this. Let's see if I can get it bigger. Yeah. Okay. I end up with something like this and it has basically all this information around it from the Instagram screen that I don't want. So I need to crop it. So what I do is I will just drag it over and take this tool, crop, set the crosshairs from corner to corner, let go, and then go clip. Oops, let me undo that part. Change this back to an arrow so I can move it around. Now that this image is cropped, I can right click and I can export it to just this image, either as a JPEG or a PNG. I'm gonna go ahead and export it as a JPEG. Put, give it a name and export. And as a result, let me see, I will have it all cropped. Yay! So that was the first thing I wanted to show you. Now I want to show you how to create your own memes, which or pictures or images for either your website or posting on your social um, profiles and so forth. So let's clear this page. I'm going to push the delete button. First, I'm going to grab an image, a great place to get uh, free images or, um, you know, copyright free is at Pixabay. And I, so, so I'm going to, I do have an image of my own that I'm going to be um, messing around with. So here is my adorable pup drag and click and say, I wanted it square. So as you can see in that upper under the toolbar I can get the dimensions of what I'm cropping let me see right here see I'm gonna try to make it perfectly square or close to it okay there's my adorable puppy drag go clip now I want to put my branding on it or you know who posted this and I push this text tool and I can go up 
let me see, I drag the line for how long I want the text to be. I go, and then I'll put the website. And I can highlight it and change the font. Let's say I'd like Arial Black, and I want it to be at 12. And let's make it green. Green happens to be my favorite color anyways, or one of them. And you see how this is not on one line, which is not what I want. So I will click the text thing here, and I will look for, let me see. See, when I see this, I can go this little block line, and then I can push this and move it around here. And then let's say I want to make it, you know, engaging. So I want it to go from here to here, and I'm going to put a, something funny. Let's see what can be funny. I can put, oops, let's do that again. I want more ice cream. And let's say I want this bigger. Oh, I gotta highlight it first, sorry. Let's center it. Let's make it white. Let's see how the white will look. And then, and I can make this bigger if I wanted to and change the colors and also put like a shading tool around. So if it's clicked here and I want to put the shading tool, I'll just go like this and I'll just see the little shade here, move it around. So you can, so it highlights the letter, contrasts the letter better, especially if it's a light font against the light background. And I can move this to make that shading a little darker. So, okay. So then, now I have these three elements. I have this text element, this text element, and the actual picture. So what I need to do is I need to group it together. So I push the arrow again, I drag a box around, and I can tell when all the elements are chosen because I can see um, those little brown boxes on the edge of each of the three elements. I click it, let a right click, and then I go group. Then I can just right click again and say, I want to export this as a JPEG. Put a name, let's give it a numeric name this time. And look, I have a wonderful Mimi that I can post whether on my website, next to a blog post, in my social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is. And I didn't have to do this or purchase this from another program. That's one of the things I love about this tool. There is a learning curve, but the more and more I use it, the more and more I see the graphics, um, possibility. I realized this morning someone was showing me that I could actually make really cool um, YouTube background pictures with this, which means I could make great um, Facebook background pictures and or timeline photos and so on and so forth or a great, great um, Twitter background photo. It's just a matter of me finding the dimensions to all those and those are a quick find. You just type it into the, um, you know, the search bar of Google and all the dimensions are easily found. So that is it for this video. I hope you have found it super useful. I'm super excited about this tool. So I'll have um, more tutorials about it, about what can be done with it and how it can help you with your online business. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe to my channel, or um, leave me a comment here on my blog. I love comments, and have a fabulous day, everyone. Bye-bye.